My friend Grant is here with me today, and he has a nail that he's got a little bit of bitten happening there. You've been biting a little. Yeah, it happens. It happens. I'm going to show you how you can put a tip on this and make it look great. Sculpting and shaping not necessary. With hybrid gels and gel tips, you can create these beauties at home. There's a few tips and rules to use when applying tips to a very short nail. Let's get started. Okay, so these nails are all prepped, ready to go. I'm just doing the prep and prime. You got a little boo-boo there. I just wondered if that was going to hurt. <laughs> it's not, not really stinging, no. <laughs> not right now. Give it a minute. Yeah, that's okay. right. Okay. So this nail is the worst. So you can see the free edge is way back here, and we've got the skin right here, right? So a traditional tip is shaped like this. You see that? I'll put it up against my black nail, and you can see the scoop on the end, right? So with a traditional tip, you get some glue, and you usually put the glue here and then you slide it onto the nail and the sides, you want to make sure the sides are stuck there and you got to press the center down so it stays and once that is the case, then you want to sculpt and put the product in here and then you have to sculpt the whole nail and build the nail out. These traditional tips are really meant for professionals and it's really to replace the paper form, okay? So that method is still requiring some professional skills. So these tips came along and they are making it so it's trying to make sculpting nails or traditional tips so easy. It's taking all the sculpting and the guessing of where the product should be smooth around the cuticle and thicker over top of the nail. It's taking all of the custom work out of it. It's like we're all wearing basically the same shoe. If it fits you, you're lucky. But that's why they make lots of different sizes. So hopefully you can find one that fits close enough. When you're getting custom nails and someone's putting a form on, they are sculpting it specifically like a custom shoe or like a custom outfit designed specifically for your measurements. And that's what we're doing when we're doing a sculpted nail by a trained professional. So in my opinion, it is not a replacement for a sculpted nail by a professional nail technician but it certainly can get you by if you don't have those skills. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that on a short nail. So we've already prepped the nail. This one is very, very short. It's actually quite easy and it can go very, very fast. So Grant, I'm gonna ask you to put your little hand over here for a second. Okay. He wants them on so bad. Yeah. But I do have to buff up the inside of the nail just a little bit because we still want the adhesion. Okay, I'm just gonna buff up the inside just a little bit. And I'm just buffing up the area where I think it's gonna be going on the nail, just that space, not the whole thing. So these things can go on super quick. Once you buff them up, it really is a very, very quick procedure. And that's another advantage. When I'm sculpting, if I'm gonna sculpt Grant's nails, the whole entire set is gonna take me about 60 minutes, about 45 to 60 minutes. And if we talk too much, maybe about an hour and 10 minutes. So when I design a nail right from the form, I'm custom making that nail to fit his nail needs, what he does in a day, how busy he is, if he's typing a lot, compensating for all of that. So I'm making it thicker in some spaces, thinner in some areas, just to completely design it to him. These are just going to be a guess. And that's, Sometimes good enough. It's gonna be okay. So I've taken the size and I've actually fit each and every finger and I'm gonna show you how I would place this down before I put the product in. So I'm gonna put it right close to his cuticle and then I'm gonna lean it down in, then I'm gonna hold it and nuke it. But you can't really see underneath how much it's grabbing onto the natural nail. So I'm gonna fill it inside with a little bit of hybrid gel, whatever you've got, or you can even do this with a gel. Now let me show you with the clear, it's gonna be the same thing. You can put the hybrid gel in here. I'm gonna lean it in and put it down, but it's not as pretty. If you can see, I can see all of his natural nail in there. It's not quite as pretty. So I think, do you wanna use the nude? <laughs> now, when you put a gel polish on it, you know what I see. Do you wanna use the nude or do you wanna use the clear? Let's use the nude. Okay. 
So on that note, this is how quick it can go down. You just literally get a little bit of whatever hybrid gel that you're working with. So I placed the bead on there and the idea of this is, this is sort of like, um, I've never worn dentures, but I imagine it's much the same. If you get like your dentures, you put a bunch of goopy stuff and it sort of, when you fit it in, it just fills in all those holes. That's what this is doing. So by pressing this down, I'm literally just going to fill it in here. So when I press it onto the nail, it's just going to fill in all the areas where it needs to be kind of filled in to create a nail and having the tip on the top part will do all of your shaping so it makes it you don't have to file. This doesn't have to be super perfect in there because when you do this you're going to press it into the thumb which is what we're going to do right now. So this method I'm going to do here right now is no different than if we were to put a bead on top and then sculpt it and take the time to do so, this is making it so we put it underneath and by pressing it in, it'll sort of sculpt it on top, removing all that extra work we'd have to do. So I'm just gonna press it down like this, right into the cuticle area. And I'm pressing it onto the natural nail and I'm gonna hold it with me thumb. And I'm gonna turn this guy on. That's what I like about these lamps. You can take the bottom off and you can just hold it to where you want. So I can do this for about 10 seconds to hold it and then it will hold it in place more or less. And then we can just continue. 10 seconds, that's it? That's all we need for just a flash kind of cure, just to mm -hmm. hold it in place. And then when we're done here, we will um, nuke the whole thing at the end. I'm learning new things in this that's video. That's right, Grant. You become a nail technician? Yeah, no, we've we've tried that. No. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is I'm removing a bunch of excess of product. If you do get a little bit of excess, you just can remove it with the brush. I will say when you're doing this removal process, don't touch it with your finger and your skin all the time. If you keep doing that, all the, you could develop an allergy to that. So what you want to do is dip it into the alcohol and then just kind of smooth it out and take it all out. You can actually work this with liquid monomer. But again, if you're using the monomer in this kind of a fashion, you'll be putting monomer on top of the skin all the time, and I wouldn't recommend that. But the alcohol you can do that with, okay? So look at, we got a nice, clean, smooth cuticle. And look at, that's how fast it goes down. Great, thank you for watching. This has been a great video. <laughs> It's not over yet, my friend. We got nine more to do. So I'm going to shorten this considerably because when a person has short nails, you don't want to send them home with a super long nail. This is all about leverage. So this is sort of the rule. It's a third, third, and third. So your little nail came up to about here. Remember that? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take the distance between the cuticle to where your nail, your natural nail ended, and I'm going to cut that in half, which is a third, a third, and a third. In other words, I'm going to take that half and stick it on the end. That's how long the nail should be when you get your first set of nails. Look at you with these facts. Education. Wow. <laughs> so what I will do is I will shorten this down. And this line here is about where the poly gel is actually, where it kind of seeped underneath and fill in all those little holes to make it nice and smooth and really secure. I'm going to shorten it right there. So let's go ahead and do the rest. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bead in here, just a little one. I tend to put too much in there. So I'm just going to get used to putting a little guy in there. Can I just say that this nail length is ridiculous? You don't like it so long? I was going to leave How? it long. How do people well, they... go about their day like this? If you want it, trust me, you'll find a way to go about your day. It's gorgeous. Ah, uh, no. It's, it's a no from me. <laughs> I have to be honest with you. I know long nails look cool and I wear them a lot, but most of my clientele, I would say 98% of them are short nails because they're practical. They want nice looking manicured nails that they're functioning. They're moms, they're working, they're, you know, they can't have long nails like that. It's I mean, practical. I could go a couple hours like this. Maybe you should just for fun. <gasps> I should just follow it. you around for a couple hours, but it's gotta be a work day. Can't be just a French yeah. vanilla day. Of course, of course. Yeah. Did you have a French vanilla today? Maybe. 
How many did you have? That's the real question. Well, it's early in the day yet, so I've only had one. You sound like you feel guilty over it. (laughs) (laughs) It's a lot of judgment happening at this table right now. (laughs) No judgment. Uh I'm actually kind of jealous. Oh, you're you're not kind of jealous. You're quite jealous. I'm a lot jealous. You had a small French granola the other day. I know, and I shouldn't have had it. Okay. Uh Oh, wait. Wait, stop. Your finger's too big for this. Let's go to this one. Yeah, I think I meant it for this one. I just grabbed the wrong one. Oh, Susie. You're out of your comfort zone. I do like to sculpt. I can hear it in your voice. You're (laughs) on... It's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. We're going to make it. I need to sculpt. (laughs) That's right. Okay. I mean, these do look really cool, though. Look at that. Look how effortless that is. I it's gotta say, cool. I, I, they do. I just, I've never seen you work with tips. No, and uh, you won't see me do that. When I'm doing a client, I would always opt to sculpt because I want to make sure that it's completely custom fit to them. That's what I'm really good at. That's what I want to do. These are just, um, if you don't have those particular skills and you don't want to take the time, because it's time consuming to learn to do this. Mm-hmm. So this can get you by. It's not going to compare to a sculpted nail, but you know. If you, maybe you don't want to wear them long term anyway, and it's maybe just for the halftime show and you're J-Lo. Mm-hmm. You just want to mm-hmm. wear them for the show. That's what they're. Are you comparing me to J-Lo? Yes, Grant. Oh, yes. yes. You have a lot of similarities. <laughs> oh, yeah. So many similarities. <laughs> just just a lot. I performed at the Super Bowl in 2012. So that was. You did, didn't you? Was, I was impressed. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, cameraman. I had forgotten that. Yeah. Remember that? Do you have it on tape? Uh, no, we forgot to PBR. Really? Yeah, we that forgot, convenient. We forgot that. You just don't happen to have that on tape. Yeah, we didn't. There was no TikTok. There was no Snapchat at the time, so no one, no one got it. Sorry, That's I think shame. the NFL destroyed the tape. <laughs> <laughs> Some sort of wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was a wardrobe malfunction. That would be my type of uh, Super Bowl performance. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> This is a little tiny pinky, so just a little tiny bead. And I'm, I'm counseling myself there. i got to remind mm-hmm. myself because mm-hmm. I'll just put too much in there. Resist. Yeah. It's a little different when you're sculpting. You know, if you put too much on, it's okay because you can sculpt it all off, right? But in this particular case, if you put too much on, I mean, you can take it out of the cuticle, but it, it really can get very clumpy underneath and it's a bit more of a pain. So you want to kind of really learn what your estimated guess is. Your guesstimate. I'm a guesstimate. Yeah. Okay, here we go with the pinky. Okay, I have to say, I don't know how long it was. We didn't time it, but we can get an idea of how long that took. And they're all on now. It's pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't have an awkward pause in our conversation. (laughs) It's coming. (laughs) I feel it coming. Oh, for sure. (laughs) Definitely. Okay, so now we can literally, let's just give you a full nuke. We'll just do a little full 60 seconds. Is that counting? Yep. Yeah, okay. See, look how quick that was. And then I will just trim off the end. Mm-hmm. And then if I want to get a little jiggy with the cuticle, I'll fix the cuticle, make sure it's nice and smooth. And we just top coat it and you're good to go. Wow. It's pretty quick, isn't it? This is very fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I get it. I, I get why folks would, would do this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. This is like getting like a Pop-Tart s'more rather than making your own s'mores. Like it's it's really You're good in a pinch. compare nails to food. Yes, yes. Because it's like so really it good anything. in a pinch. It's quite satisfying. Yes. It's not quite 100%. That's true. But, you know, you're like getting there. Yep. That's one way you could do that. Look at that. And I even got better. There's no cuticle issues like I did with the thumb. Every time you do something, it just takes more and more practice, right? So it doesn't work out, don't get discouraged, right? That's right. You just keep trying it. I mean, I've done the tips a few times, always on camera, actually. And I have learned something with them every single time. You just learn stuff. I mean, that's that's what it's about, just learning. And don't be afraid to make mistakes. Goodness knows, I make a lot of them. A lot of them. Don't get carried away (laughs) now. (laughs) You have to make mistakes, right, in order to improve. You have to make those mistakes. So you can e-file this, you can hand file this, or you can even clip them with a clipper. 
I'm just going to quickly e-file. Now, this is a pretty soft product to file right through. So I'm just gonna file run through. I'm gonna chop it down like a tree. I've seen you do this before. Yes. I can't remember the video. No, I can't either. But I was equally anxious. <laughs> sometimes I'll go underneath. And sometimes you can just pop it right back. Oh, that freaks me out. Does it? Oh. You're a little bit scared. I am. Aww. There you go. Now I wouldn't file the surface unless you're going to put something on top of it, but I would kind of stay away from the surface. Once you put something on the surface, then you're gonna to have to try to finish it in another way. But if you don't touch the surface, it's already perfect for you. Now I'm gonna take the free edge and I'm just going to shape it up. But again, don't touch the surface. You could literally just leave that and Grant, you could be on your way. Or you can buff it ever so slightly with a very gentle sanding sponge type file. And then you can put a gel coat on top. Okay, so the beauty of doing the, this full coverage tip on a bitten down nail is that when it's really uneven underneath, look how smooth you can make it on top, right? That's what makes bitten nails a little harder to do because when you put the form underneath, sometimes you, it's hard to line the form up or even that tip that I showed you, the traditional tip, is nothing for the nail to grab onto. But a full tip gives you a full tip coverage. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and shorten all these up and we'll take a look at the final little cute nails. Yay! Being a growing nail technician is criticizing your work, and it can be hard to do. I'm sure Grant can help me. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Trust and believe. So I'm looking at this, and what do I like about it? What can I improve upon? Now, I'm going to be very critical, and I think it's kind of good to always do that, so you can always get better. So if I scrutinize this finger, and if I pull back the skin, do you see how the side, there's no gap. This side, it's pretty straight. It's pretty good. It's it's captured all of his natural nail. I didn't see this when I applied it, and I should have been a little bit more rocking it back and forth to see it, but I didn't see it. See that gap? Me no likey. Now, this was sculptured nails. I could add a bead of acrylic in there or gel and sculpt it in and blend it into the top, but we're trying to avoid that extra step, but I can't do this. So if I want to fix this, I would file it off or soak it in acetone, let it float off, and then I'd reapplied a better fitting tip, which might mean I have to pick a little bigger one or just maybe move it and shift it a little bit better. But I wish I paid more attention to that. Another thing I can get better at would be the educated guess of the bead. This finger was a little bit bigger and you can see the difference between the end of the color of this end and that end. That's because the product I put underneath squeezed in when I pressed it down, it kind of filled in the end on this one more than it did this one. So it's just a tiny little bit more of a bead I'd need for this finger to fill it all out to right to the end. But all in all, it looks adorable. Oh, and sorry for poking you. I have done my nails super long. Usually I can do really well, but look what I've done. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I've poked myself here, here, and on this part here. I think this happened last night in the middle of the... I got I to gotta take them down. Apparently I can't handle it. Anyway, thanks for joining me. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ooh.